Hi guys, this is Allison Pryor. Here's a tiger that I'm going to paint or show you how to paint. Um, it's great for if you're a beginner for sure because I'm going to make very, very easy steps for you. And I'm going to show you how I managed to get this started. So all you have to do first of all is, we'll take this out of here, and what I did was I found a picture of a tiger and the royalty free um, pictures that you can look for or pictures that you find that are free to use and you can draw the, the tiger out uh, on a piece of paper. This eight and a half by 11 and this is 11 by 14 canvas, a canvas panel that I'm going to paint on. So the paper is eight and a half by 11 and, and I did my, my uh, tiger there and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace my image onto my canvas with carbon paper. Just go get some carbon paper at any copy store or any department store or craft and then I traced all these lines. I didn't want to waste a lot of time just sitting here drawing that out for you but just trace all the outline that you did originally whether you did a freehand or um, you trace it so and then I just trace it out on my canvas see so when you do that then you can take your paper off and then you've got the image of your tiger ready to paint see so just put all your lines on there and everything that you need and the first thing I did was I took my tiger and I painted all the black stripes first. I found that so much easier than doing anything else. There's many ways to paint, but like I said, I'm gonna show you as easy as I can to get it started. And you can certainly find ways that you wanna paint. Um, but this is a good stepping stone to get you started. And all you have to do is find a nice round brush or a chiseled edge brush, uh, sable or synthetic. And you take this brush, you need something very small to get into those stripes. And I just got some uh, black and uh, cad red, cad yellow, and some uh, burnt on burn titanium white on my palette for now, okay? But all we're gonna use right now it, to make it easy is black, pure black. So go into your black mm -hmm. and find your stripes and then just paint only the stripes. There we go. So just get that started and get your stripes on there in black. Now if you don't like pure black you can certainly add a bit of brown to it. Have a close look at the picture that you're referring to and see what colors you see in the stripes. So you just get those stripes on there one at a time. It'd be much easier to do it this way than try to do the, do the stripes over. Now some people would rather do it the other way. They may want to do all the uh, orangey colors first and then put their stripes on after. But I thought this was, uh, it was easier for me so hopefully it will be easier for you. So let's just get our stripes on. Check and double check your stripes when you're drying them out to make sure you got them in the right places. Don't have to be exactly the same. All tigers are different. Their stripes are probably in different places or bigger or smaller, depending on the shape of the animal. So get them in as accurately as you can. Take your time. And then once you get these done, then you can move on to your bobby. So just filling in these black stripes. If you, you know I'm going to be filling all these in. So if you get, you know, you want to fast forward me, you certainly can do that too. I'm just going to go into my stripes. You can paint along with me and then we're, we're both in real time. So I'm just trying to, I'm sitting up so I'm, I'm having, you know, trying to get straight lines. But you don't have to have straight lines because they're, uh, their stripes are pretty, um, Pretty well all over the place. All right, so there we go. There is a pattern 
you know, I don't, I, I didn't really study. I, I could look up more information about tigers because, you know, they have patterns and um, they all have some, have the same patterns. We're getting close to the eye, so make sure you get that eye. Get on the line. There we go. Come on the line. Join up with that one. And then make the other lines are right here. There's a line here. And then the eye is there. Like that. Good. And then just fill in all your stripes. You should have no problem once you fill in all your stripes. There we go. And you're going to have to refer back to the picture that you're looking at because some of these stripes can be a little confusing. I mean, I get, I'm getting confused a little bit here now because I want to do the video. I don't want to stop. I want to keep going until I get most of all these done for you. Okay. Hopefully you can see it. It's not too blurry. This is my third attempt, by the way. <laughs> my third attempt at trying to, uh, to get this started. Okay, so I'm just going to keep filling in the stripes as many as I can. There we go. So yours might be a little different than mine. Depends on what the tiger was that you, uh, you drew out. Get your tiger drawing done. Get your stripes on there. And then paint in black. Transfer your your drawing from an eight and a half by eleven paper onto your eleven by fourteen canvas. Center it so that the head is over this way a little, because rule of thirds it says if you have a focal point, you don't want it dead in the middle because it's not as interesting. Not because there's anything wrong with it, just because it's more interesting. Makes the picture more interesting. I'm just putting a bit of shadow and color in here and a few more stripes here. After I get this done, then I will stop the video and I'll do a lesson two. So we'll just say this is lesson one. Lesson one for the tiger. And it's pretty simple, you know. Just a matter of drawing it out, filling in your black stripes first. And once you get that done, then you're on your way. Take your time doing this. I might be rushing it a little bit more than you would. But you go ahead and take your time. Put me on pause. And get your stripes done and then move on to the next step. Okay. So. Get this in here. That's the other eye. It's a bit thick there, nice, comes around here, you draw it out and it's not so hard for you to have to guess what's going on. It's a bit of black here. We can make adjustments if, if you fool up, you can always make adjustments after because it's acrylic paint and acrylic paint when it dries you can go over it. So try not to worry too much if you make mistakes, okay, because the carbon paper you can't really erase. Once it's on there, it's on there. Okay. So we'll just get the mouth painted in here. See how you can start seeing it coming to life already? All right. So we got a line going down here. Like I said, yours might be a little different than mine. That's okay. Just I'm putting a little line on here. A little bit here. I'm kind of dotting it out a little bit. That's where the whiskers are. Oops. That's where the whiskers are. So I'm just going to dot those on. And then I see a big stripe right here. Like I said, I'm using a round brush. So get all this done. And you have to have a little bit of patience for this, but it's fun. It's fun. 
Once she has some idea what to do, it makes it more fun. You don't know where to start. A lot of paintings you look at and you're like, where do I start? How do I start that painting? Whoops. So you just, um, you just try to start it the easiest way possible to encourage you to keep painting. So let's just keep doing this. I've just got a few little circles here that I put on there. And I'm going to put in this stripe here. And I'm going to put in this stripe here. And we're almost done. But you take your time. Don't go trying to keep up with me because I'm doing pretty quick for the video. It took me, gosh, two days or so to, to do this painting. So right now I'm trying to do it all in 15, 20 minutes, this part. I, I don't like my videos go too long. So here we go. Keep it going. It doesn't matter if they're completely straight. Don't worry too much about it. Just get it on there. Because you can see that the, their, their stripes are not completely straight. They're, they have a pattern to them. Yep, they do. And here's a bit of black going on here. And there. Now if we need to adjust something, we can do that after. So let's just get as many stripes on as we can. Okay. You'll notice that your stripes end with, on a, a sharp point or a square. So take note of how they how they end. Like this one here should end a little sharper and so should this one. My brush isn't letting me right now. So that's okay, I can always fix that after. So there's another one here. And we're gonna get that on there. Good. Look, I'm getting all full of paint. Good. So now I'll go back a little bit so you can see all of it. Good. So I've got a couple more stripes to do. And then I will let you work on yours. And then we'll come back and we'll put some color in there. We'll do the eyes. Yeah. We'll do the eyes. And we'll do lots of things and we'll do it probably in three or four lessons and I'll put them in a set list for you so that you can get them all in one check out my set list because that way you don't have to to look for all the lessons um, they'll all be in one set list and then you will just have them all there for you and if you want to email me at alisonpryor at yahoo.com send me your paintings I've been getting People sending me their paintings and suggestions and it was Don that asked me to do a tiger and you know and, and people were asking me to do certain things or asking me questions. I love it and I really appreciate your beautiful, wonderful comments. So uh, yeah, so that's what encourages you say that I encourage you to paint. Well, you encourage me to do videos because I know that you love it and you appreciate it and you're having fun. There we go. Now then we've got one more stripe here. And we might be able to put another stripe. Let's see. Maybe we'll put one down here somewhere. Probably didn't have it drawn in, but I'm just going to put one here anyway. You can put them wherever you want. Just have a look at your picture and see where they go. And uh, like I say, they're all different. There we go. And a little bit of a stripe up here. And a little bit of a stripe here. There's going to be some shadows going on in here and things like that. So look, you got your, shadow, your stripes on there. So when you get that all finished, I'm going to let you go so that you can finish up your, your stripes and get all that done. And in the next video, then we'll do some painting. So that's paint, that's acrylic black paint. So finish it all up and I'll see you in lesson two.
Hi guys, this is Alison Pryor with Lesson 2 of our Tiger Painting. So we already did our little sketch and we did our um, stripes in black. So now we're just going to do the white. And in order to make white, we have to have an underpainting. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a bit of my Burnt Umber and my Ultramarine Blue. And I'm going to mix two of them together. Sorry, the, the brush is a little bit dirty, but that's okay. And so I'm going to mix two of them together to make sort of a grayish color. And then I'm going to add some white to lighten it up. This is going to be an underpainting for the white. Okay, so we'll just make the underpainting. And so we'll go with the white. We'll find out where the white is. So look at your reference photo. Let's look at this. <clears throat> so we look at this. So the ears and around the face and all this section here is white. So we need to do an underpainting. So let's take all the white sections and just put in, I'm using a flat, small flat brush. Okay, got a bit of a chiseled edge, sable, and I'm just putting in the white. Okay, so just put that in there, just scrub it in and uh, work around the black. All right, so just put in that underpainting of the white, wherever the white goes, okay? And then we'll put white over it after. We'll put on the, to make it look like he's got lots of fur. So let's just put on just easy as pie. We're just putting on color right now. That's the easiest way to do this, okay? So you're underpainting for white. Let's see if we can get close enough to the face so that you can see what I'm doing. Oh, there he is. He's so cute. Okay, so then we have some white here as you can see white is here between that big stripe and that little stripe and just come around here and make some white now don't forget to look some reference photos so you know where everything goes all right look for some reference photos and uh, that will help you so I'm just giving you some basics right now because to make it as easy as I can for you. And this is what we're doing now is the white sections. Okay, so just scrub that in there. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. This is just an underpainting for your white. And we got some white around the top of the eye here. If it gets too white, just add a bit more blue and brown to make it gray. It's a grayish, bluish underpainting. So we got some there and some here. And let's see where else. All right. A little bit under the eye. So wherever you think the white is going to go, put in your underpainting, okay? Just your underpainting. There we go. Around, around this part of the face, it looks like it is. If you lose your uh, black, we can always put them in again. As long as you can try to you know see where they go we're doing this pretty quick just having some fun it's got a little bit of it a uh, little bit of white going around the nose here and then we have his right there and we have some white here there's some oranges going on there too and we got let's see down under the eye So we'll put some white under the eye. Good. And then the chest, we already put some there. So we got that. Good. So we want to make sure. And we got some on the chin. Some on the chin. White on the chin. There we go. Now, what we'll do is that we got the white all in. Let's go and get some orange colors in. So get a bigger flat brush, something bigger that you can work with. So, um, let me see, let me see what I can find here. All right. Now, I'm just gonna use this flat brush. It's um, a filbert brush, but you don't have to be a filbert brush. I'm just using something big enough that I can move the paint around. And we have some orange going on there. See, as you can see, the orange. 
So, there's some orange going on. So we have, let's see. So you have some orange going on on the face and on the body. So let's just put some of that on. It doesn't have to be all the shadows yet. We'll just put on, we'll just put on some of the colors. So right now I'm just going to make some orange with some red and some yellow. And then get the orange the way you're happy with it. We won't add any brown yet. We'll wait until we get some of this color on first. We got a bit of orangey going on there. Don't make it look, if it looks too pink to you, then just keep adding a bit of yellow. And then we're just gonna add some color up here. So you got your dark stripes, and then you're just gonna add your color right between those stripes. Now we already know where the white is gone, so we don't need to go there. But have a look and see where, look at your reference photo or take a picture of my painting and then you can have an idea where everything goes. All right, a reference photo probably would be good. Use whatever it takes, whatever it takes to get, uh, to get that paint on there and get you to understand what you're doing. So you can look at my video, you can look at some reference photos. Yep. All right, so we're just getting some, just getting some orange on here. Looks like a little bit on the pink side. I don't know why. Depends on the colors you're using. Try cad red and cad yellow, and I try two of those, uh, mixing them together and trying to get a nice orangey color. We'll darken all that up now after. So just follow along, you know, just have some fun. Don't worry about it being perfect right now. We can do all kinds of small details later. Right now, we just want to get the colors on, okay? Good. Make sure you can see it all. Yep. Yeah, it's all there. Okay, so let's keep it going. Fill up. If you go over the black, you should be able to still see it. We can always put the black back in if you end up touching off the black. All right. So let's get all this orange on there. So it's uh, painting is going back and forth until you get what you're looking for. So, I mean, this is just basic getting the colors on. It's only the basic underpainting. And there's many different ways to paint and to get your colors on. And there's so many. Look at all kinds of videos and have some fun looking at them. You know, because you can learn a little bit of this and a little bit of that from all the videos that you look at. Uh, the only videos I find hard to watch are the, the ones that are, are sped up. You know, I feel that if I'm doing this in real time, because I feel that if you need to speed me up, you can do it. You can make that decision. But when you look at videos, they're already sped up. It's hard to understand what they're doing. And, uh, and they're good, too. I mean, I really enjoy watching all the videos. So, you know, everybody has to do something different and what they enjoy. Just trying to explain to you why I do mine in real time. Because I feel that, I feel that you can fast forward me if you want to. Good. So now we got that much done. And now we got, I need a little more yellow. If you don't have cad red or cad yellow or ultramarine blue or burnt umber, use any any colors that you, any blues or any yellows or any reds that you have on hand because you don't want to say, oh gosh, I can't do that video now because I don't have the colors. Just use any colors at all for now. You know, long story yellow or you know or blue. No sense using red if if, if something calls for blue. So you know, just uh, try to. Because there's all kinds of paints out there that um, you can use. Like I said, as long as it's a yellow, don't have to be cat yellow. It can be any color yellow. It can be a bright yellow, a lemon yellow. So you know, because a lot of people have tons of paints on hand, but they may not have what the video tells them. So your painting might come out a little different color or whatever, but that's okay. Okay, so we're getting um, the side here done. Just get the oranges on there. 
We'll put some shadows in there now after. All right, I see some orange up here. There we go. And around here, under the eye. There we go. Just putting that in there. Up around the eye here. Now, if we make a mistake or we didn't don't put things in place in the right places, we can always fix that later. Looks like there's some more, a little more on the yellow side here, orangey, next to the eye. There we go. A little bit here. So now we get some of those colors on. So now what we can do is we can start adding some more colors. Yeah, let's add some more colors. Let's have, let's have a bit of fun with it. There we go. There. Maybe I can show you the other one that might help. Okay, my head is in the shadow. Alright, so let's just play around a bit more. So let's add a little bit. Let's make our orangey color. Add a little bit of brown. Try not to mix it too much. Just let it sit in there with it, sort of dragging it in there. And what we can do is start adding some of that color on top of that. Now, if you can't get good orangey enough, then actually get an orange that's already pre-made you know this is great for pumpkins and things so just get a get a pre-made pre-mixed orange okay sometimes it is difficult to get it i'm putting a little bit of yellow back in here i'm going to go back and forth with my darks and my lights all right so i'm just going to put some shadows in next to the uh the stripes put some shadows in here trying to find where the shadows are some shadow just me and my shadow some, some shadows just pulling in some darker color and this part here is where the leg bends a bit there we go some shadows up here in the back so we can make it look like his back is curved some shadows down here yeah so keep putting your shadows in that's it good and we like i said we make a mistake or we got a lot to clean up and this is just getting started so just put on your darks and your shadows over your orange that you did just find the places where your shadows are we got a shadow on the side of his nose he or she i'm not really sure all right, so let's get that down here. Shadow on this side, and a bit of a shadow on that side. So now we're starting to see it coming alive a little bit. Not too alive, I hope. I wouldn't want to be chased by a tiger. All right, so that's what we can do there. Good, so we'll see where else there's some shadows. Maybe there's something down here, here. Good. Now what we can do is we can start putting on some of our um, other shadowy colors or brighter colors. Let's go in with uh, some more orange. Some more orange. Let's get a nice orangey color. And now we'll go back in and put on some. Like what we're doing is we're we're layering our colors. It makes a thicker looking. Um, it smooths everything out. Brings everything together. But yet you don't have just one color. We're going out with different colors. So just keep keep adding different colors okay so we're, we're going back with the orange again make a nice orangey color your brush is dirty it's okay so let's get some of these orangey colors back on that's right but see how when you do the, this layer when you keep going over with different layers of paint how it starts to thicken up really nice how it becomes soft and um, colors become more brighter or deeper right see so layer 
layer your paint, layer your colors. That's it, layer your colors. It's okay to go over your black because we will we will go over the blacks again. There we go. See, we're just layering our colors. Going back over it again. Good. So you do that a couple of times until you get what you're looking for. And so we go back and you see how the colors become richer. Become rich. There we go. And up on top of here, it's a big yellowy color that brightens it up up here. So then we brighten it up over here. There's a few highlights going on here and there. We'll just throw in a few highlights. Just for now. A few little highlights. And then we'll come back and we'll add some more color. But Okay, so what I'm going to do is, that's our first layer. Now that's our basic layer of paint. We, we did our underpainting for our white. We did our underpainting for the body. And we got the stripes done. So now when I come back, then we will do some more um, shadows. And uh, we'll, we'll do everything that we need to do to bring it out and make it really nice like the original painting I have there. So you guys go and work on that for now. And then when we come back to lesson three... We'll do, um, we'll do our shadows and we'll bring this tiger to life. See you then. Hi guys, I'm back with the tiger painting. Um, I'm going to do some more work on the tiger and hopefully we can get through that today and uh, then start on the background. So I see some things there that I want to fix. So I'm going to take out my small liner brush, just a small one, small round brush or liner, whatever you want to call it, very small. And I'm going to fix a few things that I see. So I'm going to get some black paint black paint and I'm going to take this here and I'm going to join it up with this here there we go looks a little better fix that in here see all these little fixings I mean I could have fixed this and came back and you know but I want you to I want you to see everything that I do I want you to see everything that I do with mistakes and all okay because that's how you learn and you think you know, if you don't see the other artists making mistakes, you think there must be something wrong with you that you can't learn. But we all go through lots of mistakes, if you want to call them mistakes. It's just a learning process. So we're going to fix up the mouth here. If you look at your mouth and see what you think of it, if you think it needs a bit of work, then go ahead and, and fix it up. I think mine needs a lot of work, so I'm just going to do this much for now. You know, as you can see, when I did the other painting, it looks pretty nice, right? Because I could take my time. Doing a video is so much different. But when I took my time and took two or three days to, to do it, I could take my time and make the little strokes that I wanted to make and all kinds of things. But doing a video is a little bit different. So, you know, that's why I want you to email me if you're having any problems because I'll be able to help you better. But at least this will get you started. It'll get you, you know, some idea of how that you can uh, get this little little guy on the go. And now you can bring that back in here. That's the mouth, and the mouth comes down around here. I think that looks a bit better, so I might need to uh, do something here. And what else have we got here? We got this. We can go back over some of the black, but I think maybe we better put on some colors first. So we'll put that brush away and we'll go back to our flat brush. We only need a couple of brushes to do this, the small flat brush, sable. And we'll get some orange and red again. 
or just pure orange whatever you want to do I like mixing my colors because it helps me learn how to mix different colors and, and, and you know the more you mix them the easier it is for you to, to get the colors you want so it looks to me like there's some orange here and here and here and here and here see some orange in here there we go all around orange so I think I got enough on there you know might want to drag a few it's orange into the fur in case the fur you can see the fur the skin through the fur and there's some white here and some orange here so I'm just scrubbing it on to make it uh, softer looking make sure I got everything in place bring it up into the ear so I'm just scrubbing and sort of like dry brushing I'm going to add a bit of brown to my color orange darken it up a bit get some shadows some shadows here there we go it goes down the right side of the nose there we go and over here and a little bit over here just scrubbing it around where I can find places to put shadow and let's see I'm gonna scrub that now I'm gonna scrub that right into the top of the nose I don't have very much paint on my brush I'm gonna scrub at that line there so that will blend in with the other line see how it blends in when just scrub at it with hardly any paint on it so I'm gonna take a bit of yellow just pure yellow and I'm going to scrub that into here to brighten that up a bit there we go I'm going to need more go get some more and scrub it in scrub it in scrub at that line there so they both blend together good where else do I need some yellow I think I need more oranges so let's take some more orange and see where else we need some more orange. We need oranges everywhere. Brighter oranges, darker oranges. I'm just going to put this yellowish orange on there. Just for highlights. Highlights, highlights. Not too worried too much about it. I don't like to get this done now it's so much work i'm just i'm just dabbing on some of these lights here just so that i can get an idea where i want my highlights now you can do this in a different way you don't have to do it exactly the way i do you can find an easier way to go for it you know it's not written in stone how you have to do this I'm just showing you some different techniques that I like to use and that I'm trying to make it as easy as I can for you. Doing my best, but this one is a bit harder. So as you can see, there's a white patch here on the nose. So we need some um, we need some shadow under that nose there. A little snout right here. We need to darken that up a little bit. Right, just put some brown in with that some brown in with that fill that area in and then we'll put some white on that top of that nostril there or on top of the let's see let's see pure white let's see if we can get that on there there we go need more white all right some white and you put that right here good that brings that out a bit better it's come alive it's come along and if you want to 
You can also take a Q-tip, make a small area like this, and you can just blend that white right there if you want to blend it a bit. You can use a Q-tip to do it. See? Now we'll blend that in with that. We have a nice little blender look. And if you want to add a bit more white back, you can. A little bit of white and a little bit of white. Good. Now what else? Let's see. Let's see. Let's get a few shadows on the go here now. And let's see. So get your bigger brush again. Your bigger, bigger brush. Bigger flat brush. And mix up some orange color. And then add a bit of brown. Burnt umber. Look how dark that is. I'm just pulling through. And I'm gonna find places that I think I need shadow. So let's go with here. Some shadow here. Some shadow here. So look at your reference photo and see where the shadows are. Some shadow here. And here. And we want to put some shadows down here to make his back look like it's curved. And some up here and with that yellow we already put in there. Yeah. And some shadows here. So you're going back and forth with the oranges and the, and the shadows. Okay, so I get some more shadow in here and here. Now, like I said, I'm doing this pretty fast, so I can try to show you different techniques that you can use when you take your time. Okay, you take your time and do it. Go back over it again. Go back over your shadows, your oranges. Um, make everything nice and neat. Clean things up. Right? I, I, I could, you know, I could do 20 or 30 videos trying to, but I only want to show you the techniques, the, the, the easy techniques to get you started, okay? And, um, and like I said, if you got any trouble, you can always email me or call, uh, no, don't call, <laughs> don't call me, I'll call you. <laughs> anyway, so, um, so got some nice shadows going on here, a little bit up here. So the big thing is having your shadows and uh, and your colors. So you just go back and forth with your shadows and your colors. And if you can get those oranges a little darker, that'd be great. And then you go in and you and you clean up your black stripes. Okay, so go back into your black paint again and clean up your black stripes. Clean them up. Alright, I'm going to speed this up a little bit as best I can. Black stripes. There we go. And when you get that done, you remember when I did a, a small round brush and I made these little flicks of white for the, uh, on the face? Well, you're going to do little flicks of paint on some of these stripes. Okay, I'm just throwing them in there. I'm throwing them in pretty quickly. There we go. There we go. And they don't have to be straight because just fur going through those. Right? You don't want them too straight. You probably want to flick them in like that too. Just flick in, just push in some of these so that they look like just some fur going through them. And, uh, so, like I said, look at your reference photo. Okay, let's do some, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to uh, leave that there for now. And I'm going to move on to the sky and the grass. Um, so, the sky, now I know there's lots of work to be done with that. I know that. And I might come back later and, and do some more work with it. But... Uh, I'll show you also that you can make whiskers with a, this is a white charcoal pencil and you can make whiskers with this by just drawing them out see if that's if that's wet it may not work 
but you can just draw them out, see? Or you can do it with, a, with white paint and a brush too, but look how easy that is. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. Just and If you don't like it, you can take you can just wipe it off with a damp brush. So I just thought I'd show you that in case I don't get to it. So let's try and do some grass. So just take a, a, a bristle brush. This is pretty big. You can use an inch or, or a two inch. And what we're going to do is we're, for the grass, well, first let's do our, our sky. Let's do our sky first. So all you need is some blue paint and, of course, some white paint and a little bit of red if you want to give it a little bit of a purplish look. Sometimes purple, adding purple to your paints uh, and your colors really gives it a nice look. So let's just take some blue, put some blue on there, there we go, and some white, we'll brighten that up. I'm going to get a smaller brush because that one's a little too big, I might use that for something else. So blue and white, just put it all together and put it on there until you get the, the nice color sky that you want, mostly white. Once you get some blue on, you're going to probably go mostly white. And then you put that on there, just any old which way, because it's kind of nice, it's coming out anyway. There we go. And a little bit of red, you can add a little bit of red to your sky. There we go. That will give it a little bit of a purplish look to it. Not too much, it overpowers it. Now you just got to work between the... Um, the tiger and the sky. Good. Just go round and round and round you go. Where it stops, nobody knows. All right, so let's get this on the ball. So just put on your whites. Look how nice that looks up there. See how nice that is? There we go. I'm rushing a little bit now because I want to get this done. Want to be doing 20 or 30 videos in one in one painting like i said now i can see why they speed the paintings up but i like doing it this way it's fun i find it fun but if you're having a hard time with this because it is hard to teach for me it is anyway i find it a bit hard to teach so if you're ha on video that is but uh, if um if you really got problems with it please email me and I'll be glad to help you with anything at all in, with this painting. Because I want you to learn. I get so many people telling me how encouraged they are to paint. And I want to keep encouraging you. I don't want to make this look really hard. And then you think, oh, I can't do that. Well, if you can't do it, it's only because I'm, I'm probably struggling myself, okay? I'm just struggling here myself, as you can see struggling to get the video done properly and struggling to hurry it up and struggling to show you all the different techniques that goes with this so you guys are so good to me that i want to do a really good job i want you to enjoy it and have fun so let's fill this in here down here we just fill it all in so that'll be the sky behind down here we're going to put some foliage and then when I get the foliage in then I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to let you guys work on all that and then later down the road I'll come back and I'll do another video where we'll do we'll do some touch-ups to it to bring it more to life and, and clean up the edges and do a few things add some more whiskers and all kinds of good stuff but I don't want to spend too much time on this. I think this is enough to get you started, okay? I think this is enough to get you started. There we go. Nice little sky. I'll leave that there like that. I'll put a bit of foliage on for you now and then I'll let you go. And then you can work on this painting. And I'd love to see them because uh, I'd love to see how you make out. I really would. Yeah. So I'm just going to go into some for the foliage. You can have any colors you want. You know, greens, browns, reds, blues, 
right? Have any colors you want. Just look at the foliage there. See? So let's put a little bit of foliage in here. All right. So I'll straighten away for you so you can see it. Good. So I'm just going to get my big old brush that I said I was going to use earlier, a big old bristle brush. I prefer to use a, a I prefer to use a one inch. I'm using this because I don't have another one handy with me. Um, and I don't want to leave the video. So to make your green, uh, so blue and yellow, make some greens and some brown and some green. All right. All right. So get this straightened away and some green and some brown and a bit of black and we'll just don't even mix it just tap on some foliage right any kind of foliage that you want just tap it on like that good you want to darken it up just tap into a bit of black and a bit of a bit of black and a, and a bit of brown and you got that kind of foliage so this brush is kind of nice for making foliage like this Go right over the tiger. I know you don't want to go over your tiger. So just go over the tiger. And then some green. So you can use green. You can mix your own green with blue and yellow. yellow, Or you can um, you can certainly go and get some green already made for you. And use different color greens, darks and lights. And just tap them on like this. See? Good. So that's your foliage. A bit of yellow on there just on the top to brighten it up. There we go. A few shadows in here. The dark with the black and brown. A few shadows. Good. And then one more thing. You take your liner brush again. Take uh, your liner brush. Yeah, the big one. Take that and pull through some some of your yellow and, and green and just pull up some of these nice little little bits of grass that are coming up through there. So that's about it. Just a few little bits of grass coming up on the edges there. So I know it's it's not completely finished. There's a lot more work to do with it, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna call this a finished for now. And hopefully I can get back and do a few more things with it because I can see a lot of things that need to be done. But for now, just work on that and hopefully this helped you. I know it's a, you know, it's a lot of work to it. But uh, you go ahead and enjoy and, and have, have a real fun time making your tiger. So here's a picture of the one I did earlier. So you take a picture of that. So you can use it for a reference. Okay, so take a picture of that. There it is. All right, just take a picture with your camera and that's that one there then you can follow along and uh, get as close as you can to that one so you guys have fun and i'll see you um at my next request happy painting from allison Pryor.